Yo, what's up guys, it's Andre Other here, bringing you guys another video. Let's make a beat and let's see what we can do. Let's go. Alright guys, boom, so we're here in Logic and it's time to make a beat, man. Like I promised in this video. So I've actually been listening to the Luke Kitchenard album, Baba, as you guys can see. And um, I just want to switch up a little bit, so I kind of want to make a beat with that kind of vibe. So I don't know how we're going to start. I don't know if we should start with like a nice little chord progression or if we should start with the drums, but I'm going to start with a little chord progression and try to see what we can come up with and then move on to these drums. So I actually used to do beats like this like before I did like any trap or hip hop. I used to do like dance kind of beats inspired by like kitchen art and stuff like that. So hopefully this shouldn't be too hard. I kind of like this, I think this is gonna work. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We just need to kind of quantize it and make sure it's actually in time. I like that. So I actually found this art that gives me those kitchen the kind of vibes. Like if you listen to kitchen, you know what I mean. And I play this art for you guys. It's really bright, kind of sounding synth, so. I think it could go really well with this melody, so I'm gonna try and find a way to incorporate it without it kind of ruining it. drums hit like when the drums hit like this beat is really gonna start hitting so I'm gonna send you guys up for that big drop of the drums so let's move on to the drums the most exciting part of the beat for me well at least these kind of beats so let's use this drum kit even though it's not trap but let's just use it anyway let's get these kicks going let's go oh okay that's way too loud <laughs> ouch kicks up a bit. That's a trap kick. That's perfect. That's fire. I like those kicks right there. So when we move on to these snares, I want a snare. I know what sound I want in terms of the snare, I just need to find it. And I think I have one. I think it's this. Maybe this will work. Okay, yeah, that'll work. I just want it to be a little bit of a swing, you know, a little bit of a delay. I just 
get rid of these high hats real quick. I like Kyle Patriot that keeps his hi hats like really simple. Honestly, this isn't like on the same level as Keisha, but I'm really trying to get that kind of vibe for you guys. Might be these actually. <laughs> Yo, this hi has added that bounce for real. Bro, it's getting so dark in there, man. It's like I'm filming at night, but I don't want to, like... Oh, man, nice. Damn, bro. Let me turn the lights on, bro. It's so dark. Alright, it's a bit better. The only thing I want to add to these drums is I can open it up. Let's try and check that in there. Okay, might be this one still. Sounds good as I thought it would, but we're just leaving this there, so let's be able to the baseline so we can finish off this beat real quick. So <sighs> I know I have a case you know sounding bass, but I just need to try and find where it is. I might just search it on my I might find it. Oh god. <laughs> Case base, but I kind of like the vibe, so let's try and draw this in. Let's go. Let's see how this sounds. So we are back. Uh, we just finished up the beat. I just added a few more things to the beat. So I pretty much just added um, the first thing I added was side change. So what I did was I went to the kicks. I added another bus. So I went to bus three. As you can see, I added bus three there. Um, what I did was I then went into the mixer. I went to aux three because that's the out for bus three. And normally that should say what all of these say SD out stereo out but I actually right clicked it and clicked no output so no sound was coming out of that aux channel so what I then did I went to the synth I then added a compressor I then clicked sidechain I then went up here to sidechain and clicked bus 3 because that's what I want to sidechain that's why I want to be sidechained onto this uh, synth and then I messed around with these settings a little bit until it sounded like this. As you can see it has a little bit of a dip, gives it more of that vibe. And then what I did was I added more release to uh, the sound. So the release was at like 75% but I, added, I bumped it up to like 90, what's that, 98%. So it kind of drags out a little bit and it really kind of enhances that dip, that side chain kind of um, sound. Now it sounds like this. And then what I did is I added a note repeater. So a note repeater, just to have another note kind of playing, I transpose it down to, uh, I transpose it down an octave and then it sounded like this. 
why so I need the uh, and I did the same thing with the this little arc. So I just added a compressor, side chained it, bus three, and just messed around with these turns a little bit. And then yeah, it gave you that that kind of a uh, side chain kind of sound. So now everything should sound like this. So that's why I really changed to the beat. And um, yeah, I just want it sound a lot better. So the whole thing should sound like this now. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. So with the bass, let me rename this so it's easier, it makes more sense. So I just literally just added distortion to that's the distortion I always add to like every bass. Like, bro, my face is so dark again, man. My goodness. I'm just gonna leave it, man. I can't, I can't be always to keep adjusting the camera. But, um, you know, it's just, it's just, this is the last time I'm doing this crap. That's it. That's the last adjustment I'm making to the camera. But anyways, I've had this uh, distortion to the bass. It used to sound like this. With distortion to like this. Yeah, I just like to have sound. But anyways, everything should really sound like this. And yeah, let's listen to it. So yeah, I actually like how it turned out. I think it turned out a little bit better than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. It's got that Keitra kind of bounce to it. Obviously, it's not as good as the Keitra on a beat, but I was going for that vibe and I think I accomplished it. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about that beat. If you thought it was trash, if you thought it sounded similar to Keitra Nada, or if you think it didn't, let me know in the comments down below. But I actually kind of like that beat. But I guess that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like the video though, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more because I have way more videos like this coming out every single week. And if you guys want, you can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Instagram for all the latest updates. And I'll catch you guys in this video. Peace.